Welcome Aquarius to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of April 30th, I mean April 15th to the 30th of 2023. As I was getting into the Aquarian energy, I really feel that you need to have more fun. Uh, when it comes to love, romance, relationship, I feel that there may have been some sort of upheaval and um, a, a time of sorrow, uh, sadness. Uh, this could have been you leaving somebody, somebody leaving you, or maybe the Aquarians were just having a difficulty in their relationship. But this is now changed. So it's time for the Aquarians to start having fun. Start having them fun. Enjoy um, life. Nurture the inner child within the Aquarians. Now, what with also the Aquarius, it's really important that your heart and your mind align with the divine. Uh, as you go forward this time in your relationship, I feel that many of you are feeling this... Uh, Point, and I, I just feel the word point, pinnacle, uh, this uh, wheel of fortune type of energy coming. And this could be the summer months. This could be um, this coming fall. But it's coming, and it's with you and either your significant other or you're meeting your significant other. Uh, you've gone through some, um, some difficult times, and you guys are coming back together. Uh, but... I really feel that for the Aquarius, for some of you, this could be somebody new altogether. And may I say it feels like a blessing. It could be a blessing for either you or for the other person. Um, uh, may I say that the mother energy is very important during this time. Um, so whether it's the mother of your children, your mother, it could be your, the neighborhood grandmother. It's the mother energy, the mother archetype. You know, in today's world, um, there is honor. And when you look at people who are honorable, they're generally, almost always, honorable to the elderly, uh, people less fortunate. You don't see somebody without integrity or with, the, you know, with, with honor. You don't see somebody with honor giggling and laughing at somebody that is, um, what they would deem beneath them. They could, they could have a handicapped or anything. And I've actually seen, uh, the opposite people, like with the Aquarians, where you stick up for people like that instead of ridiculing and making fun because you do understand the laws of karma. Uh, whether you call it karma or the laws of reaping and sowing, I get it. The Aquarians understand it because this is the period of time where you will be uh, sowing, reaping what you have sown. And for many of you, you planted really good seeds when it comes to career and finance, whether this is through your education, um, this could be in a business venture. Uh, this is something that you've already done. This isn't a surprise. You've already been doing this Aquarius. So this is like a real blessing for you. Aquarius, love, romance, relationship. What does the Aquarians need to know as they're listening to this video pertaining to love, romance, relationship? April 15th to the 30th of 2023. What does the divine have in store for thee? Now, understand this will not resonate with all of you, but it does for many of you. I greatly appreciate the private reads. I get to know all of you all over the world. It's so cool. Now, when it comes to love, romance, and relationship, this card flipped out, and it is a leap of faith um, following an unexpected opportunity. So this is love, romance, relationship. This relationship could be with your uh, significant other, taking that chance, that move, moving on in career, a physical move. This could be the Aquarian in a relationship in career and finance, relating to that, taking that, that move, that opportunity and moving forward with it. And it's going to be unexpected opportunities, which is going to totally bless you because the next card is abundance. I get it. We're talking about love, romance, relationship. Now here's abundance, opportunities, 
That's because we relate outside of romance. However, for some of you Aquarians, it's going to be romance that kind of rolls all of this together for you. Um, events are going to uh, occur with great speed. So, uh, Aquarians, I feel for, again, many of you, <laughs> if things have been kind of in a lull, uh, same uh, law, uh, slowing down, low energy. Um, you're going to start seeing things speeding up, even your own metabolism possibly. Uh, speeding up, you're going to be moving more, doing more, going more, getting more. Wow. Yeah, great inner strength is going to help you. You're going to have this great inner strength that's just going to help you. What uh, you're, you're going to stretch your wings and fly. I know we're in love, romance, a relationship. And here all this is, this is another card that flipped out inside the deck. Uh, objective decision-making. So, look, some of you um, that are struggling with addiction or maybe your past thoughts that no longer serve you, along with a closet full or a garage full of stuff, clear it out. Clear out those old one, unwanted negative emotions. Clear out... Things that you no longer use or that or you no longer serve you. It could be um, different uh, subscriptions. It really it could be all over the board. It could actually even be people. But you need to remember, ego Aquarius, ego E G O, edging God out. So when it comes to ego, and the Aquarian. What is your motive for doing something? It's either for the light and the peace, because everything that's good is generally done in the light with bright, right? And there's peace. There's peace. People that walk in the light, they don't do things or go along with bad behaviors that cause chaos, confusion, conflict, and you Aquarians are so intelligent. As soon as you see somebody being sneaky or, de or deceptive, those are not qualities of a light worker. And you're going to walk away from it because they are edging God out. And sooner or later, they will feel trapped. That's just the way of... Um, the law as sowing and reaping goes. So you just need to rest in your in your wisdom to notice when somebody's being sneaky and deceptive, right? Or um, they cause conflict and confusion. Yeah, need to let that go. Now, let's get into uh, career and finance. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. A positive res revolution. Talking about conflict, you're going to get a resolution to conflict. So I feel this uh, could be somebody you're in business with. This could be your lover, your partner, your business partner that maybe you share expenses and there's been conflict. Now there's going to be a resolution. And in fact, it's a happy family life. Here you go. So look, Aquarius. Whatever's been going on is letting up because you've already planted these seeds and now you're going to be reaping these seeds. And it almost feels like a will of fortune type of deal. So all I can say there, Aquarius, is keep planting those good seeds because they're going to keep coming right back to you. Open your heart and your mind and look, honestly, charity work, charity work. And if you don't have the time, you could give money. Uh, you could give gifts, gifts. What What is uh, some of the, the nonverbal communications of love? It's uh, gifts of your time, gifts, um, you, you know, put it in a link below, in a link below. <laughs> Career and finance. Yeah, you're already in this. Okay, too much work too much work. You need to accept help from others, Aquarius. So if you got a lot on your mind, excessive mind chatter, you need to, first of all, align your heart and your mind with the divine. That is prayer. Prayer is actually a ritual. So when you're doing an offering prayer, you need to allow yourself to um, listen Pay attention to what you're paying attention to. Even if they're your own thoughts, it could be 
uh, somebody else speaking, but pay attention to what you're paying attention to, Aquarius. Um, when I do my private readings, I like to look at the shadow side of a person and their strength. So let's go ahead and pull this deck of cards. Aquarian, what is the strength of the Aquarian during this particular time of April 15th to the 30th of 2023? What would the strength of the Aquarian be? And it is, oh, the, the connection, the clarity, the source. So when you guys do connect to the source, you really connect to the source. And many of you, um, as I look at this card, it's the connection. It's the source. Look at the... Look at a, the rabbit going around and around up until it gets to its mark to where the castle is. So some of you are actually right in the middle. This is your strength. You can make your dreams come true and your castles a reality. So you just need to keep that in focus. Uh, um, it's the uh, focused, organized discipline there. Now, this is the shadow side. And it is your intuition many of you are not trusting your intuition and in fact even the word trust and truth is a shadow side many of you um when it comes to trusting and the truth somebody and i it could be the aquarius for you cross watchers or it's somebody that's dealing with the aquarius that they tell so many lies they actually believe it to be true they change history by uh, by telling lies and then everybody around them leaves it to be true. Um, so Aquarius, you may know somebody like that or they could actually be another Aquarius where they tell they're unable to handle the truth so they make up a new truth. Aquarius, I'm trying to get my channel to grow. So with that, I want to uh, offer... Um, different uh, contests. Now, uh, in the link below are two young girls, uh, Higher Healing Witchery and Wander Which Way. And this is the work of Wander Which Way. She does it, She does these homemade journals. And um, I'm going to be giving the, a journal like this one away. Um, I'm looking for ideas how to host contact uh, contests to get my channel to grow and more readings, the whole thing. So as I'm doing this, leave a suggestion in the link below, like, share, and subscribe. And with that, um, I'm going to just randomly pick one of you guys that I like the idea of your contest, and I'm going to send you one of these journals from Wander Which Way. Now this is from Higher, uh, Higher Healing Witchery. And this is protection salt. So you can see these girls got my back. These young girls, God bless them, right? Um, and I'm going to be using things from her store as well. And they're in the link below. So please check out their online stores. I think you're going to be quite surprised. Uh, as for me, private readings, PetrellasIntuitiveInsights.com. And remember to enter into that contest. Thank you and God bless.